Okay, so today guys, I am bringing you this great method in making farming those vending machines much, much faster. But I won't waste your time. This requires two characters on different profiles at a level 53 with an extra controller. If you don't have those, this won't help you. But hey, you may as well stick around to see how this is done just in case. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. So vending machines to those that know can offer some amazing items. In fact, some of the best grenades and shields you will find in this game come from vending machines. Items such as the one shotter the kill switch and many other items can drop in these vending machines. So farming them is something many people do. Now I've spent the past week farming these vending machines looking for that three times Vagabond or the kill switch shield at a level 53. While farming I have come across some amazing items which you can see on the screen now and also many people on my discord have been doing the same. Some of the items they have sent me you can also see on the screen now. But yeah, these vending machines do hold some great, great items. So farming these more efficiently is something I guess most people will indeed want. And that's what I bring you today. Now this, like I said at the start, requires you to have two level 53 Vault Hunters on two different profile accounts. Now many people who do farm this game will have what's required, so let's go. So to do this, pick any vending machine you like. This also works with the first raid vending machine also, but not the ones that follow. Go to said vending machine on your main Vault Hunter. Obviously check the machine for that loot. Then press start on your controller. Then on that second controller, press A or X to join that game. Select the second profile and Vault Hunter and then join the game. Now I will state, selecting split screen from the main menu also works the exact same. So when that second Vault Hunter has joined, look in said vending machine. Then on that second controller, press start, go down to quit game and then go across to quit game. Do not select quit to main menu. So quit game and quit out. Once you've done this on that first controller, press start, then on your second controller, press A or X to join back. Select that Vault Hunter and you will join just as quick as that. Being able to check that vending machine again for fresh loot. Just simply rinse and repeat this process people. Now I figured this out by accident, but it makes to a way more efficient farm. Definitely over quitting out and loading back in even while playing split screen, which was the best way in farming vending machines. Now you can see on the screen now the comparison between the two. In the long run you get way more loot using this method. Now I went into testing this and after calculations on 5 minutes farming, the results were I was able to loot 4 extra vending machines before I loaded back in at the exact same time within both circumstances, which basically meant a reset on timing. So after 5 minutes I got 4 extra vending machines, 10 minutes, 10 plus, 20 minutes, 22 plus, 40 minutes, 44 plus, 2 hours, 165 plus and 4 hours, 396 plus. So in the long run if you do plan on farming vending machines for that loot, it's definitely worth it and way more efficient doing it this way. So I do hope that helps you guys out. You do plan on farming vending machines for that crazy loot. Remember some of the most powerful shields in this game come from vending machines. One to keep an eye out for are the three times Vagabond prefix. This is amazing for Zane. The one shot shield which has that three times amp prefix and the kill switch shield which you can see on screen now. This you can stack up to 300 plus damage worth. But obviously you want the level 53 versions. Now if any of you guys do have any of these shields at a level 53 and play on Xbox you can always hit me up on my Discord linked within the video description or send me a message direct on Xbox my gaming tag is imdpj. But yeah guys just a quick video for those of you out there who are farming vending machines looking for that amazing loot. Like I said a lot of loot from these vending machines is really under the radar and some of it is just super super powerful. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video, people. If you did enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Come on, Royals. Let's show them how to dance. Stand here! Whisk 
granted! Shot too 